Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, it's not Crisis 3 or Halo 4 or Call of Duty. No guys, seriously. This game, Darkness 2, this game is a beast. This content, this footage right here I got, this game is freaking awesome. I'm telling you right now. So, yeah guys, this is going to be a commentary I'm going to do today. This game, I've been playing it for a while, and I already beat it twice. It's got an awesome story, it's, it's, just, it's just, the physics are amazing in this game. And, um, so yeah, I put on the uh, subtitles so you guys can see, you know, what they're saying and such, because, uh, yeah, I, I put the volume down so you could hear my voice. So, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, today I'd like to just talk about the gameplay and just, just the game. I'm going to talk along with the game. So, I just got hit by a car. <laughs> and, um, like, as you can see, um, I'm being dragged across the place. I got hurt. Um, the guy you play in this game is Jackie Essicado. I hope I said that right. But um, he has something called the darkness, and apparently you won't let him die because he's a host, so. And it, like, regenerates him and stuff, so. Being pulled through the restaurant by his friend Vinny, and he takes place in the story, too. Um, yeah, it's, re it's really awesome how they put, put it together with all the characters. But, um. Yeah. This game. Right here, I this gameplay I got. I am this is the first level. I didn't want to do any like spoilers and such, so I I just played the first l level and I thought it was pretty action packed. It's pretty awesome. So um, yeah. Oh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, I'll I'll get farther in the gameplay. I'll talk about more stuff. Yeah, you could dual wield all kinds of stuff. Aim down sights, dual wield. Like, I've never actually seen that in a f uh, video game before. So that's pretty awesome. Um, there's a lot of guns in the game. This is the M1911. Um, pretty sure you guys heard of it before in other video games. Um, it's really awesome in this game, especially because the physics are very, very realistic, as you can see right here. But um. Yeah, here's another incident where uh, the darkness won't let him die. It's it's really awesome. Um, see, there's gas coming out of one of the machines, and yeah, pow. Just look at that. Just look at that. So yeah, the guys who are invading the restaurant, you are actually just going out to eat. Jackie Escado, you didn't expect this at all. So, these guys randomly attacked him, and uh, the darkness coming out now. He can't take it back. So, that's one of the main bad guys in the game that's standing right there, the hunchback dude. And, um, yeah, the darkness coming back because he can't die. Darkness won't let him die, so. He's weak right now, so he's got to deploy the darkness. I think, yep, I think this is the part. Just watch the physics on this game. Ready? Pow. I mean, if you're, like, annoyed or something, and you had, a, like, a long day at work or anything, this is a game to play. Because, just look at that. Now this isn't the, like the whole game, you go around shooting people most of the time because it's hard to get close because of the far line of signs. Those, those two darkness, uh, they're like demons. They can regenerate Jackie and basically aid him. And um, the right arm you use to like hit stuff, it's like a whip. You press RB, that's the normal control that I use on the Xbox. It's it's RB and you could like whack the right arm, the right demon arm on the screen. So like hit your enemy to stun them or whatever. You can hit them in the air or on the ground. Even kill them sometimes. 
but um, you'll see me you'll see me doing this gameplay a little bit. The left arm, you can see see right there. I just grabbed the javelin's awesome slow mo kill right there. Throw it right at him. Um, but uh, yeah, the the left arm is like see there's there's the right arm. That's what it does. The left arm you use to like you can pick up stuff. Like see those purple purple planks. You can like pick up those and you could use it, like throw it or something like that. So, and right there I get a kill with the. Just look at that jump. Just look at the physics. Now I know a jump isn't too like amazing and all, but you see that? But um, yeah, um, Jackie, the main objective of the uh, game, overall objective, is to uh. He's trying to get to his girlfriend or whatever, Jenny, and apparently the darkness has her. Cause I can't give any spoilers. So this is, it's difficult, but um, yeah, there's there's one of the grabs. That's one of the executions. It um, when you press when you have someone held or something, you can uh, you can press a button. Like you have to unlock some of them. You can press a button and you can unlock executions. And uh, there's all different ones. They all do a different thing. The one I just did, you have to press Y when, and it gives you more energy. See at the bottom left of my screen, there's Y and B, and those are like one of your powers that you can unlock. The Y one, like, makes your gun like darkness. I don't know, but it's pretty awesome. It gives you unlimited ammo for a limited time. You just go crazy. I do it later in the gameplay. And that uh, see, you can pick up stuff and throw it at people. It's pretty uh, <laughs> pretty intense gameplay. Is and the explosion hits me. I I was gonna cut that part out because like yeah. But then I watched it again. I was like, there's that's one of the darklings right there. I wanted to explain about that, so I didn't cut it out. Um. He's basically like a partner that helps you at the story. He's like part of the darkness and such. See, there he is. He's kind of like in your head, and he's one, like one of those guys. You ever play Legend of Zelda? Like Navy. He's that's Navy. He's like one of your Navy things, but a lot less annoying. A lot less annoying <laughs> than Navy. He's actually really cool. You get to be him at some point in the story. But um it's really cool how they how they did that. Oh, shout out to my friend Taintless Giant signing in like a beast. But uh yeah. So you can dual wield in this game or single wield. I decided to dual wield because I'm a beast. And you could basically go go like freaking that door I just grabbed, you pre you can use the left arm and you have to keep tapping X to like release it. And you could break doors, it's pretty awesome. But um and you could eat the enemy's hearts apparently to uh gain health and you get more points for that and a whole bunch of stuff and you can see the menu right here. I'm showing off the talents you could buy with the ascents points that you get. You get them from doing like different type of kills or whatever, like the executions I was talking about. I'll talk about them more later. But um, yeah, you could buy a whole different kind of stuff for your person, Jackie, with the darkness. Like um, either for his gun, the darkness itself, even the darkling, the two abilities at the bottom left, health upgrades, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I just recently unlocked all of them, so it's pretty awesome. You almost feel like a super soldier. <laughs> um, that's one of the upgrades right there. If instead of getting the enemy's hearts, it's a black hole, and it's really awesome. You throw it, and it like sucks them in, like a you know, like a black hole. But um. It's it's one of the abilities you get to buy and. There I press Y and you could see that's like the darkness gun and it like auto aims, it's really awesome. Like it doesn't miss, dude. I have 
if you get all the uh, uh, upgrades, you can you can even have it so it goes through walls and <laughs> I accidentally threw that. Good thing that car shield missed because I actually threw it at my own guy, teammate. And right here I do. Let me see it. Yes, that was an ammo execution. Like there's different executions and they give you different things. Like some of them give you ammo and some of them give you like a darkness shield. That's what I'm holding right now. And it protects you from most bullets. So, it's pretty cool. By the way, if you go into the light, it kind of like doesn't hurt you, but it like makes the darkness go quiet or something like that cuz you know, it's a darkness. And the light kind of makes it go away. So, as you saw like the demon arms went away, my even the armor on my hands, like the Jackie's hands. You could see like there's darkness armor. It, it's one of the upgrades from the Ascents. And you can destroy the lights and such. You can shoot it or use the right arm to whip it. So that was a nice headshot. You see that? You see that? But um... Yeah. The the lights make darkness go away. But it's, it's easy to destroy. It sounds like an annoying thing. Like a, just an annoying thing in the game. But it's actually not. You get a, sen a sense from destroying them. And you could still shoot your gun in the light too, so it's not it's not really too much of a bad thing. But um See that was another uh there's a whole bunch of executions and I think there's like twelve. There's there's more than that. There's a lot of them in this game. They're all really awesome. Um each of them do a different thing, as I was saying before. But uh I already told you guys. I'm 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 talking through as I'm going through the gameplay right here. So there's some of them that uh, give you health if you press A while you have an enemy. That gives you health, and that green stuff I just did. That's B. It's like this swarm. You could like swarm enemies. It's like a stun, like almost like a stun grenade in Call of Duty. That's basically what it is. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. There's also ammo executions that you could take the enemy's ammo. You get more ammo. That's really useful ones because ammo is pretty tough to come by in this game. As you can see, I have... Just look at my ammo right now, bottom right of the screen. So, I just gun channel. That's what it's called, gun channeling. And it basically like superpowers your gun. It's pretty awesome. You can eventually upgrade that too. And there's executions. If you press Y, there's an execution that, like, there's an execution that gives you more, like, power toward that. So it recharges faster. Pretty useful. Um, and the B one, the one to press B, is like a shield. It gives you darkness shield after the execution. It's actually really useful in a firefight. Like, if out, there's a later part in the mid, the the campaign where you're surrounded in some kind of mansion and there's a whole bunch of guys coming after you you can just use um, find a guy and press B and you can get I think this is one of them yeah see that thing in front of me is like a shield you could either throw it at him and such like I did right there and I think that one gives you more energy but um yeah the shields really really useful there's a lot of different variety to this game, that's why I really like it. Um, see, there's like a whole bunch of stuff you can do, with, but it's it's not a free roam. Like there it has a good, really good story too. I've been playing it. Um, I've been playing it. So, so yeah, the gameplay is rounding up. Um, I decided to stop it soon. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe for more. I'll be doing more commentaries and. Uh, yeah, see you later.